guys, I'm Patty, and this is Little Red Southern Kitchen. This is going to be part two of our belated St. Patrick's Day food. What we're making today is Irish soda bread. I have never tasted it. I've never had one. But I was watching the Preppy Kitchen well, a couple weeks ago, and I saw him making this, and I'm like, I want to try this. Let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some sugar. You're going to need some craisins or dried cranberries. This is what I had on hand. These are actually infused with cherry, so it might be a little different flavor. Some golden raisins, some buttermilk, some all-purpose flour, salt, butter, an egg, and some baking soda. All right, I'm going to get off here and get all my measurements together, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, one of the first things that you need to do is I took my four tablespoons of butter and I cut it up and I'm keeping it in the fridge till I'm ready to use. Now as far as my cranberries and my raisins go, I put about a tablespoon of uh, flour in here and this keeps them from sinking to the bottom of the whole thing. My mama taught me to do this with uh, Blueberries when you make a blueberry cake. Alright, now what I've got going on here. Oh, I also forgot. You need the zest of one orange. So, I've already got that done up. Now, I'm going to get together in here. I've already got some of the flour in here. Actually, I've got all the flour in here. Now, I'm going to add the sugar. And this is the salt and the baking soap, baking powder. And I'm just adding that in there. And I'm going to give it a little whirl to combine those together. Hold on a minute. Let me go get my butter. Because I'm going to need that here in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Next, you want to, what I've got is my buttermilk. And remember what I told you, when you do buttermilk, you want to shake it up real good to get all the solids. And I'm going to take the zest and add it in here. And the egg. And I just want to mix these together a little. Alright, I'm going to add the butter. They're really not going to do anything, but he... I just mix them up and, and get them going around in there. That's what he did, so I'm just following him. He said it really didn't do anything. So I'm going to turn this on low and start adding my buttermilk, orange zest, and egg. Also, you can add pecans or some other nut to that, but I can't have um, any hard nuts because of my diverticulitis, so I don't add it. And if you want to add pecans or whatever, you want to do a half cup of roughly chopped. Alright, I'm going to add in my raisins and cranberries. Let me pick up some of this. Some of my mess. Hey, I will be 
right back. I need to check. I can't find my... I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I couldn't find my baking mat. Oh, also, preheat your oven to 400. This is going to be a very wet mix. Or they call it shaggy. Messy. <laughs> and some got on the floor. Of course. Alright, you want to flour your board, as they say. In my case, it's the mat. This is, uh, like, uh, he told me, he said that it was a salty sweet. So I'm excited. It's not really uh, going to be a dessert. And it's not going to be really a uh, bread, but we'll see. You want to knead it and turn it a couple of times. Yep, I'm wearing flour. It's the new look of the day. Now, there's a couple of ways that he said you could do this. You could put it on a parchment lined uh, baking sheet because it comes out a little bit, but if you want to control it, you can do it in a cast iron pan that I have sprayed with cooking spray. Hey, this is how he did it. <laughs> Plop it in there. Now it is going to spread out a little. And let me get a knife. Because there's one more thing you need to do. You need to make an X in it. All right, we're going to put this in the 400 degree oven and we'll be brought there back in about 40 minutes. Okay, I just got this out of the oven and he did not do this, but because I make a lot of homemade bread, I'm going to butter the top of it. <coughs> Excuse me. It took approximately 36 minutes for me. So I'm going to let this cool slightly, and then we'll come back and cut it. See you in a few. Okay, guys, I'm ready to give this a little cut. It looks pretty and it smells pretty. You can smell the orange. I don't have any butter out and soft, so. Guys, I want to thank y'all for coming. If you're new here, take a look around at my other recipes. I am a southern cook, but I don't limit myself to that. And I think that my cooking instructions are for all levels of cooks. So, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you in the family. And... 
Here we are. This is our Irish soda bread. I don't even know if you're supposed to eat it with, with butter, but hey, it's bread. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like what I did, give me a big thumbs up. Share this out on your social media and leave me a comment. Tell me what y'all did for uh, St. Patrick's Day. Alright guys, bread's ready.